So the first technique is the pulling technique. And I'm starting with a ballpoint because I'm dealing with fine hair. But I like to start at a medium heat because I do plan on going back over them later when I'm done shadowing or shading the rest of the picture. I do like to leave a blank space that you can see I'm pointing to. And that's where the shadows show up on the picture. And we can just pull, pull, pull. You can do this with any tip. Um, I do prefer the ballpoint or the drawing tip. Others prefer to use the shovel, as I call it. All are okay, but this is what I prefer. The next tip that we're going to go over is the drawing tip. And that tip is good to just go into the fine details, as well as for fine hairs, like I mentioned. Getting all up in there, making sure that things that we might have overshaded aren't blocking out some of the more important details that make out the actual doggy face. So after we're done shading everything else, and we're pretty happy with how dark everything is, that's when we're going to do the next motion, and that's the circular motion. And that's literally just taking your tool and doing a circle. You're going to want to do it on lower heat to avoid those little uh, burn pockets. And it's just going to shade real, real nicely, especially at a low heat. The next technique is the, the dotted technique. So this helps create texture, creates a better shading for when animals are multi-haired, uh, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so they got some sandy in there, they're not really dark, they're not really light. This is the best way to create that multi-fur So now I'm going to show the head that most people use for shading. It's the shovel tool, as I call it. And you can use all those same techniques with your shovel. They do create smoother lines in a lot of ways. But again, you have to watch your heat. And it's really good for just blending in all those hairs that I've already done that I probably will go back over. But I might have to less because I'm blending.